Hi, welcome to an AutoCAD 2023 video tutorial. It's a remake of a basic surface exercise, the rotary switch. And you can do it in AutoCAD as well, apart from the round with variable radius. That's not possible. So let's have fun with AutoCAD. Okay, let's switch to my sketches layer. Go to a top view and I want to start with a line and that line should start at 60 colon 0. It should have a length of 50 millimeters and an angle of 96 degrees. Then I will need a center point arc. The center point should be at 30 column 50 and my polar tracking is on a 10 degree increment so I can snap onto that angle which I need. The length of that line should be 20 and then I can go to the 7 to 90 and 10 degrees back like that which gives me the correct arc. I will need to extend this. So let's go here, select that endpoint of that arc here. And again, my tracking, my polar tracking is at 10 degree increment. So I could snap it like this, repeat that command, go here, and again, snap to 10 degrees. And the length might be something like 40. That's okay. Now I have to rotate my axis system. So I want to rotate it around the y axis. Go to the x axis here. Select it and rotate around the y axis by 90 degrees. That's the default angle. Now let's see top would be here, okay, another center point arc, which starts at 0, 0, the center, sorry, I have to go for the option center, 0, 0, the length would be, in this case, 64, and I want to go 90 degrees like that. Let's take a look. Looks good. Now I want to make an extrude. So let's go for a surface extrude. This one with that arc here. Right click, enter, and make it maybe 60. And I want to put this on a different layer, on my surfaces layer. Okay. And then I can go back to my world coordinate system and make another extrude and I want to extrude this line that arc and this line right click and make it again 60 millimeters and put it put all those onto a different layer on the surface layer then I need a revolve and I want to revolve that profile here. Right click, enter, and the axis would be this one here. So let's go snap onto those two points. And this should be minus 90 degree. And again, put this onto a different layer. And maybe switch to a different layer and hide those sketches. Now, to make things a little bit easier, I want to make a union. I will lose the associ associativity, but that doesn't really matter. So go for solid, go for union. I want to make a union between this one, that one, and this one. Right click. So I want to continue that operation. 
and now I can go for my trim. Okay, so maybe let's switch to a different visual style, maybe shaded with edges. Now let's go for the trim, surface trim, select all of those surfaces as targets and tools. So select all of them twice. Like that. And now I can remove those surfaces I don't need. Like that. This one. That one. This one. That one. This one. That one. And this one. Enter. Then make a union. One, two, three. Continue that operation. Now go for a mirror. I want to mirror this surface with that plane here. One, two, three. No. Make another union. And then I can make my fillet. Sadly, I can't do a fillet with variable radius. So I want to go for a constant one. So go to solid, go to fillet edge, right click radius. This should be 10. Go for a chain. Select this edge here. Enter, enter. Nice. Now for another fillet, radius should be 5. I can go for a chain over here and over there. Let's see. Enter, enter. Very nice. And now another mirror. I want to mirror this surface here, right click with one, two, three points and that plane. And the last union between this one and that one. Enter, continue that operation and I'm done. So I hope this was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. You could follow me also on GrabCat and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.